I wanted to show you really quick how a book works in Moodle. So similarly to where we can add a web page, so this is a web page. We can add it, and in this one, this web page in particular, there's a video embedded, um, or there's another web page that we added to the Moodle site. So it has a lot of content in it. In addition to having web pages that we can add, we can also add a group of web pages through adding a book. So this is an example of it. You can see the little book icon. I'm going to open and show it to you quickly. Uh, so this one has three chapters, what are open educational resources, what are creative common licenses, how to find open educational resources. So you can use the table of contents to navigate. As you can see, it allows for hyperlinking. You also can add images if you want to as well. You can embed videos. So it is just basically handling an HTML page. Okay, and you have the table of contents. You can also have subchapters. There are no subchapters in this one, but you can have sub titles as well. So it can be pretty extensive how you use it. Uh, some people use it for their syllabus, other people may just use it for a list of weekly resources that you want students to read. So if you have a, a text and you know how to easily divide it within chapters, well you can create a Moodle book for those chapters and then have students read content as you ask them to read it. But then within Moodle it wouldn't add too much to the site but you will be able to just put all the content in one single place. This is an example of it. I have every week of this course I have quite a lot of resources. So one of the things that I've been working on is can we add them all within a book? And then now it's a lot neater because it's leaner. It's not a long scroll of death in a sense or long scroll of boredom um, or just dullness that Moodle can have by just having to scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll to see the content but rather it's all within one place. So that's what books allow you to do. You can collapse a lot of content. These are individual web pages again. So that's how a page looks. And you can just grab all those pages and put them within a book, within Moodle. You can do that for various reasons. So in addition to that, right now I'm in a student view. Why am I in a student view? Because I wanted to show you that I'm actually hiding, if I return to my normal role, and then let's uh, turn editing on. I was actually hiding a chapter, so you can even add content and hide it similarly or in the same way that you can add content to the main page of Moodle as well. So that, that can be pretty handy. Let's open up that page so now students will be able to see that one. As an instructor, you can always modify them, change them. You can add a new one. If I click that, a new one it tells me you have to add a title, content. You can make a subchapter if you want to as well. And that's pretty much here. You can add the images if you want to. You can add the tables, you can add lists, pretty much remember that this is just an HTML page and this is a weak SIG, what you see is what you get editor, so it's a simplified editor so it makes it easier to edit, but here you can add any HTML code, I mean there are limitations to what you can add, but pretty much a lot of HTML code can be added to a Moodle page. Let's leave because I don't want to add a page to this book in particular, but I do have four chapters there and that's pretty much how a book looks. You can also print them out, so I can import the chapter or I can print out a whole book. So if I print it out, you can see that it's all there and this adjusts, this page adjusts to, um, to the size of the screen, which is great. Um, and it seems, it's pretty lightweight, it's just text in this case, so it would load up quickly. The more you add to it, sometimes it can take a little longer to load. But if it takes longer to load, then maybe students can just print a chapter. I mean, or they're trying just to save some ink. They can print chapter one if they want to, if they press print chapter. And those are pretty much a lot of the features that are within a book. I hope you find it helpful. I think it can be very helpful for organizing Moodle. And again, diminishing some of this need for scrolling down. Or if you have... If I had added this as web pages, at least it would have been four different things to click on. In this case, they're all collapsed within one single place. So if you have any additional questions, please feel free to ask them. And uh, I hope you enjoy also using books within Moodle. To add them, click Add an Activity or Resource, and they'll be one of the resources that you have. That's in one Moodle installation. I'll show you a different one as well. But they all um, book. So they're all within resources, the resource section. Okay? Thank you. Bye.